Hey folks, it's time for Jeep 65 in my build Jeep pro or bleh. All right, it's my project to build a Jeep from a salvage Jeep. Anyway, hey, if you uh, liked the video, hit that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I get uh, release new videos. Uh, also, feel free to let me know what you think in the comments. So today's project is uh, I'm going to be working on lining up the torque converter with a flex uh, plate or the drive plate. Um, so uh, let me get set up and we'll pick up underneath the Jeep. Now I'm not gonna go to sleep under here. Even though this is very comfy laying on a nasty dirty towel, eh, it was cleaned. It's no worse than the floor. Anyway, so let's uh, do it to it. Uh, so we gotta line these up with that. And uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna go. So let's figure it out. I might have to actually loosen this in order to be able to rotate one without the other. We'll find out. So uh, I think this would be easier with more light. So that's the first act of Congress here is to add more light. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. that stupid fucking handle. Yeah, this one. Uh, the floor where I can trip on it later. Yeah, I really hope that I don't have to um, loosen the transmission, but I suspect I'm going to. Well, I uh, clearly can't do squat with my fingers, so let me get a wrench and put it on the drive shaft and see what happens. Or the crank shaft. Ah! Drive shaft. Fucking stupid ass. Alright, what size is that? Not that size. Okay, well, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be completely locked. Alright, let me solve that problem first. on the front of the crank, but that wasn't happening, so let me see if... Let's see if I can find somewhere back here. No, none of this is going to work either.
in that case, I might have to loosen it. I really was expecting it to not be this difficult. Um, hmm. And I don't really have anything to leverage on. I mean, that's that's actually the problem is I don't I don't have anything to lever on. If I could put this in here sideways, I could lever on this, but that didn't happen. Um, and I really don't like levering on the flywheel anyway. Use that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Um, could put the starter motor in but that's not really what I had in mind either and that might have unintended consequences all right well let's see if this will get us anywhere nope Try some other stuff up front. So I've got some bolts that I can put in here. balancer so I'm going to add these bolts to the front and see if I can use them to spin the um, drive shaft I'll show you guys what I'm doing later if it works if it doesn't work you'll never hear about it again
All right, I'm gonna have to loosen the transmission because something is binding. Sixteenths. Keep going. Sixteenth, but we'll see here in a second. Watch it be a goddamn metric bolt. Oh, that's a metric. Uh, might be five eighths. I can try that. done with this. God damn it. What is that doing in there? All right, hang on. Curl under it because I don't trust it. All 
All right, now let's see if we can turn it in the front. Now we're able to turn the engine. And there is the number one that I'm looking for. question is what's on the other side of it and I'm gonna need a flashlight for that turn it a little more I want to move this over so I'm gonna move this to here screwdriver
Alright. Okay, so we're trying to unbind the torque converter in the flex plate. <laughs> Well, I guess I could bring this to here. Well, let me just see if this gives me any leverage. Nope. can think of is to loosen it a little more and I hate doing that but I'm gonna move this over first from the front. Thank you. 
Yeah, the only thing I can think of at this point is to separate it a fraction of an inch, which I hate fucking doing because it was really just great luck getting it where it was. All right, so I've undone that one a little bit. I'll go undo the other one a little bit and then I'll do the back ones. Getting good at this and I don't like that. And I should have lined these up last night. But, you know, here we are. I'm getting really good at this. I don't know that that's a bright thing. Second very long extension. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Leave that there.
curious if with the tunnel out this is easier to access. Oh, yeah. This is probably how they do it at the factory. This is the preferred factory method. Sorry, I left the center here. that gives me the best chance of not having it bind. start taking it further apart which is fucking irritating Easier for the factory, but I, I I can't do that. I can't see anything. I can see it from back here. So from back here I go.
time for a new battery and a flashlight. So at this point, I'm going to try and wedge something in there. Friction is holding the uh, torque converter and the trying to do is grab the torque converter so I can turn the flywheel. Although before I do that, let me bring... All right, it's not there. I gotta find the number one so I can line it up. It's not that one, so it's on the other side. there. There it is. So I used white nail polish in order to mark the bolt holes. Okay, so I want to turn it maybe 15 degrees. Play it safe and line everything up exactly the way it was. <clears throat> Alright, so that's good. Oh, where's my fucking... Oh, yeah, I see the little white mark. So, I'm going to wedge this back in. Alright, that should be enough. Now, let's see if we can turn the flex plate, but not the uh, torque converter. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. Oh, wrong movie. Oh, fuck yeah. Here it comes. Still wrong movie. All right, let's see how close we are. Hmm. Are you there yet? Sorry, I can't help but make inappropriate jokes because this has been such a fucking pain in the ass. Alright. Almost. uncooperativetools.com and I mean you're not 
cussing at your tools and you're not cussing at yourself, then who the hell are you cussing at? Uh-huh. Shit. I need your mirror. Learmer. Uh huh. We're really close, but I can't see the hole. So we're in the vicinity. So all I could really do is bump it. Oh, uh, so I need like an eighth of an inch, which is a very, very small amount of radial movement. Okay. All right, she's there. Maybe a smidgy 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 more so I'll give it a smidgy smidgy oh. <laughs> all right yeah that looks pretty good so indeed I do. Um, some would say I have really quite aggressive nuts, but I'm looking for the nuts that go between, or actually bolts, um, for the torque converter to the flex plate. Because I saved them. Hmm, I wonder where the fuck they're at. Here. Alright, let me find them. Okay, after an excessive amount of searching, they were right where I put them, and I'd forgotten that I put them place someplace. So anyway, here we are. Um well, I guess I should test fit it.
Okay, yes, they fit. A little too tight for comfort, but they fit. So I am going to put red Loctite on these because I don't want them backing out. Um, I realize there are some people who say never reuse these. That's great. You don't reuse yours. Um, they don't make these. Uh, I can't buy them from uh, Chrysler Jeep. And uh, I feel like the OEM bolts are more trustworthy than the aftermarket Dorman bolts. These are 65 foot-pounds of torque, and it is going to be an adventure to get them all in. Um, what I'm going to do is bring them to snug, and once they're all snug, I'll rotate the engine at least once, and then I will work on torquing them down. Actually, I'm probably going to torque the transmission case bolts because I don't want these, I don't want to impart stress between the transmission and the uh, crankshaft. All right, so that's that's one, and they are numbered. So uh, I think that one's number two over there. I wanted to put the same bolt back in the same spot. So, now to rotate it so that I can get to the others. So I need bolt three and four. <clears throat> I think that one's going to be blocked from y'all's view. I'll reposition the... Actually, I don't think I should reposition the camera. It just is what it is.
so I'm going to spin it uh, one time so that if there's any wiggling going on, it goes on. And then I'm going to tighten these and torque them. And then I'm going to tighten the top ones and torque them. And then I'm going to tighten these and torque them. So now we're going to do the uh, bell housing bolts. Then we're going to rotate it one more time. All right, that's snug, so I'm gonna go snug the other one. it one time it felt like it snapped into place which is good that's what we want actually I'm going to rotate it twice Forty-three foot pounds is the number. All right. not doing anything at this point. Go ahead and pull it out.
God damn it. Go around the other side. Flashlight for this. I don't need a flashlight, but I do need light. Hopefully, that will not be in my way, but it probably will be. It usually seems to be. task is snug, second task is torque. Seven foot pounds for the top. Ouch, damn it. do that, but I did it. All right, so next thing's next. Spin it one more time and uh, <clears throat> then we can do these. Four, so another quarter turn.
Yep, so this is it here. And we're not quite where we need to be, so let's pull it out a little more. kidding me that's too much so I need it back That should be it right there. Ouch, damn it. That hurt. Mm. I hit my head on the engine stand. Ouch. All right, so I'm wedging. God damn it. All right, this is gonna take an extension. That sucks. Let me get that. So I'm wedging the torque converter to try and keep it from spinning. Ow, fucker. Well, where is it that... I guess it's that one spot. Alright, let me turn it again. snug but not locked so we'll we'll make sure to lock it hard next time So, I'm not going to fuck around this time. I'm going to wedge this good.
So that's three, but it's not, it's just snug. So we're gonna turn it and we gotta stop it like right there. Why they couldn't get a little bit better clearance on this, that's beyond me. So, that one's snug. So I'm going to wedge it with the flywheel or the starter ring. All right, that should be nice and wedged. Damn it. I gotta find a way to stop this from moving. Okay, so I've come up with a new way to get smacked in the face by a bar. Um, now seriously, I think that this is actually a faster way to do this. So. it in with uh, this
Oops, wrong way. Missed. The solution to this is actually to add a bolt. And I have just the bolt in mind. That locks it in place. As I probably get hit in the face with it. bit more. Thank you. 
slice pop myself in the face. this and we're going to check all four of them one more time. All right, so we'll slip this back up in here and use that to lock. That's two of them. So let me show you guys what I did. Okay, so you thread one of these bolts. There's three of them. You thread one of them in here, and then you can just take a pry bar and you jam it into the teeth. It'll grab the teeth and hold, and then it wedges in between here. So all you do is you just lock in here, like that, and it'll immobilize your flywheel. That's the easiest way to do that. All right, folks, so uh it's time to put this in um and you know what i need some thread lock oh what a lock So uh, these are the lower dust shield uh, bolts and exciting. <clears throat> now, where does the third one go? <clears throat> there it is.
All right. Switch out of that. These also get tightened to 43 pounds, foot pounds, which is surprisingly high. Let me see which one is. So that one's set to 43. All right, so. All the bolts down here now installed. Transmission's coupled to the engine. Um, flex plates torqued down. Dust shields in, wiring's taken care of. Uh, really the next thing to do is the engine mounts and that's, I don't wanna mess with that tonight. Um, I could put in the starter. Uh, I mean, I'm down here, it's, it's something to be done. Well, I ain't gonna put itself in. All right, let me find it. All right. Uh, let's see how many four times we can pop this. All right, so the upper bolt is 35 foot pounds and the lower bolt is 30 foot pounds. The upper bolt is longer and it faces towards the back. I'm going to put thread locker on both. Because it is cheap insurance. Ain't going to hurt nothing. And it might stop something from falling off. Imagine how much easier this would have been if the bolt had faced the same direction. <sighs> oh, where's the fun in that? Oh no. <coughs> Let's put the damn thing in somewhere where we can't see it. That's exactly what we did. I can't see this thing. should otherwise have been an easy activity it becomes a colossal pain in the ass because you can't see it. And you can't get your fucking hand to it. Wow, what 
the fuck? What the fuck? Alright, well, we're gonna have to do this the harder way. And the harder way is where we take it out first. What do you know? It does go in from the back. It's not all completely stupid, just mostly. certainly makes a whole lot more sense to put it in from the back. Even if it is filthy nasty. So, it's time to torque.
All right, starter's in. Let me uh, clean up. All right, so I'm gonna attach the uh, one of the cables and just go ahead and get it over with. Not ready for the other one. So we'll just stick to this one for the moment. Uh, let me go find the socket for this. I'm guessing 10 millimeters. Looks like it's a good old 13 millimeter. So, at this point, we're basically, uh, I think we're done for the night. I don't know, maybe I should work on the engine mounts. Let me think about it for a second. So, the first time wasn't enough fun, so I'm going to get to put the engine mounts in again. Um, crawl under here, get my box of gloves, and then we'll plug the camera in because for some reason it just runs longer when it's plugged in. Uh, yeah, it just turns out that, God damn it, I keep stuck. I put the bolts on the floor and I keep forgetting that I've got them on the floor because I don't normally put bolts on the floor. Um, anyway, uh, clearance reasons, I couldn't hang the motor without um, doing what I did. So now what I need to do is I need to add red thread locker to all the bolt holes that we're going to use. So we're using this one. And then this one. This one and this one, I think. I think that's all of them. So there's one. There's two. I'm not sure if we put thread locker in this last one, so I'm going to put it on the bolt first. All 
I might do this on all of them anyway. So that one started and then left and center okay last one in this bracket. All right, so I got to figure out the sizes and torques. I'll be right back. Okay, so these are 40 foot-pounds is the torque. That's that's what we used last time. And apparently I'm going the wrong uh, torque wrenches because I've got, I don't have the right one. There we go. Okay, so we'll get to see if this is a pain in the ass or not. That was a 17 millimeter. It is not. But that is. So we'll go ahead and do that one while we're down here.
that's in. Now I'm going to find this size. So, let's try 15. That seems to be a popular number. That's it. No, it's not. Nine sixteenths. That is it. All right. So um, I'm not comfortable with how that's in there. So I'm gonna back it off by hand and see if I can make it better. Okay, no. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe it's just full of junk. So that's done. Now what we've got to do is we've got to get in to uh, the bolts that are further in. The only thing I can think of to do is put an extension on here and see if it will reach in. Alright, 
So this side's done. Now we gotta set up for the other side. All right, so I need room to work over here and really the easiest way to cause this room to work is to pull the engine over. So let's investigate inappropriate places to attach things to the engine. Um, on a serious note, we're not going to put that much pressure on here, so... But we are going to pull it all the way over because that gives us plenty of room to work with. And um, we're going to need it. All right, so um, first things first, we need to find the thread lock. I don't think we ever use that size. Um, and I think I need to go in from underneath. So let me move the camera. That's my balancer. I'm uh, moving my bolts down where I can get to them and setting up for this. That's it. Sure it's not upside down? Yeah, it's upside down. Alright, I've got clearance issues. So let me see if I can raise the engine to resolve the clearance issues. At this point, I might be able to get some of it from up here. So let me try that first. Actually, I can crawl in to the engine bay.
I think this is all backwards. God damn it.
That one's in. And I think what needs to happen is this one needs to come out. And this one needs to go in. And the other one goes in the top. do is I want to snug all the bolts. snug. And then I'm going to go ahead and snug these. I'm all tangled up in these uh, in my charging cable, so that's what I keep stepping on and what I keep catching and yanking the camera with. All right. 
40 foot pounds. And I'm gonna start in the back and get that over with. Clearly that one's not held on very tight. Uh, I only had a couple of magnets making contact, so uh, just bumping. The uh, stand was enough to set, make it drop. These are all in. Let me clean up. All right, so I think the next step is going to be um, the driver's side mount. This is certainly going to be the harder of the two sides. Um, so let me see if I can find somewhere to check that where I see what's going on. Um, so what I want to do is I want to um, all right, What am I stuck on? something but I don't know what. All right, I might have to lower it a little bit. And apparently I'm stuck on the motor mount. Uh, stuck on now. Well, we're stuck on this motor mount. Oh, we're stuck good too. Alright. So, the fix for that is to come up a little. Of 
So that's solved. I've been in the engine mount in the back, but I don't really care. So now it's fun park. We gotta shoehorn these into position. And shoehorn is gonna be the right word. See what size this is going to be. Oh. Yep. Right, got this one. slide under here and put this in from the bottom. That's where it needs to go in. this way. Oh, 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 yeah. Maybe it just fucking lines up. I can't believe it. come down just a hair so this is gonna have to twist a little bit so Flex rubber to flex and right away. Uh, 
Uh, I need to figure out what the uh, wrench sizes are. I'll be right back. Unfortunately, that is not going to work. And you know what? I'm not doing this the hard way. I'm going to speed this up. Question is, with what shall I speed it up? Where and how did my impact driver go? There it is. Go get a ring go. Alright. And I'm just that's just way faster. So, should be able to just turn it. That's a little too much. There we go. That's just turning it. Too loose in the back. And now it's just too tight. Alright, I can just turn it. So, uh, probably needs to be just a hair looser. I'm good with that. Uh, my, you know what? I'm gonna just tighten it just a hair. good with that. All right, now for the other side. Now, I fully anticipate that this side is going to be difficult because it doesn't look lined up. But, 
we don't know what we don't know. So let's start with pretending there's nothing wrong. Because denial is a wonderful place to visit. Um, So, uh, first things first, let's put the lower bolt on, because we don't need any light over here anymore. I shouldn't call it a bolt, it's a nut technically. find my thread lock. I don't know where it's gone. No, oh, it's gone over here where it should be. Now let me slide under here. All right, so that shall not be perfect, but that shall be okay. Um, so we've got a placement issue here, and I need to figure out how to untangle it. It might be okay to release this. That's not perfect, but it's probably okay. So, um, that's a temporary two-point support. It's stressful for the motor mounts, but it should be okay for a couple seconds. I need to shift the uh, hoist mount forward and that requires coming off the chain in order to do it. All right, so I'm gonna have to take that bolt loose. I, I really wanna come under the forward bolt, and it's a 17 millimeter if I remember correctly. Yep. which is the same as what I have on here. This will let me clear uh, what's in the back. Actually, you know, I really ought to pick it up from this left side. What I ought to do is come back over in here. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm holding it with that now. I, I don't like that though.
I'm still debating if I should attach to the other side of that. sneezed in the room and it fell off. Nope. I don't even know what that's doing at this point. Besides being fall bait. I think that's a good place to lift, actually, if I can get to it. Um, I'm very tempted to lift up by the motor mount because I know it's secure. I know the motor mount ain't going nowhere and I've got enough chain. I don't think that's the right place to lift though. Um, I really need to get on this left side here somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to do what makes sense to me, uh, but it's probably not going to make sense to anybody watching. So I'm going to pop this belt off because it's going to be in my way. getting really good with this belt. There's starting to be room in here because the nonsense is going away. So I th think what I'm going to do is come down and grab under the alternator bracket on the top left side here. I need I need to be able to balance and right now I'm, I'm not balanced.
I don't think there's enough metal in these places. That's good. Alright, so that's going to secure this chain and keep it from popping out. At this point, I think we've got a balance left, so let's see. that way only thing going on that's weird is this so let's take this out of the equation I hear some snap crackling popping going on back there which you don't really want to hear. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen here because this is not, I mean, we're, we're locked in on the right side. I think the frame's too wide, and I don't know what to do about that. Except take a buck and...
Oh yeah, they just didn't bring it in far enough. Oh, I don't know what the fix for that is. I think the fix for it is some steel on this left side here. We're out by a good two inches. Yeah. Oh, I can't find this tape measure, which is just as well, because I don't think I like what it has to say. Uh, there's one. Yeah, we're off by a good two inches. Well, that's frustrating. Particularly because this would have been a pretty easy fix. And it still could be because I mean I, I really could easily modify this. And that's probably what's going to have to happen is it's it's going to have to get modified. Let's just see what happens when we raise it up. if something's not off.
I think I had some welding to do. Not real happy about that, but I don't see a choice. I mean, I think if I shear their bolt off and push it out by two inches, it'll work. I mean, that looks just like all that's wrong. So my thoughts are that cut this off, drill a new hole here, find a bolt for this, put it there, move this forward to here, wedge it in place, and put in two bolts. And I think it will work. Like I, I just think this will be okay. Um, I don't think pushing it out two inches is critical. I mean, it'd be better if it was in. Um, plan B is to um, do the same thing, but add a quarter inch piece of steel underneath there. And I think I've got the steel that I could use for this. Uh, I think I got some 3 16 steel, and this is what's this stuff. I, this looks like uh, it's thinner than that. Gauge went when I'm looking for it. All right, well, I've got a gauge here. So this is exactly 3 16 So I've got some 3 16 steel. Uh, it'd be a little sketchy to cut it by hand, but I think I can do it. I mean, that's the other option is get the rubber out of here and I don't know how you do that, but if I took the rubber out, yeah, if I took the rubber out, I could just weld an extension onto this and be done with it. Re refabricate this this mount. So, I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to stop and send some pictures to Brown Dog and just see what they think the lesser of the available evils are. Um. This is clearly a frame alignment issue. Or, you know, I, I wanted a Mexican repair. I got a Mexican repair. I mean, this is, this is how it would be fixed in Mexico. And I don't know that there's anything terribly wrong with this. I mean, all things being equal, I would have asked for that mount to be two inches wider. Um, and it's probably this side that's the problem. But I, I again, I don't, I, you know, the body works, the body work fits, so I don't think it'll be an issue. Um, and it could just be that this one's bent a little bit and didn't get welded on quite straight. Let me lower this one down and just see what happens. Yeah, nothing. Uh, I mean, let me 
Let me tighten this side. Okay, so I have cranked down the other side. Let's see if by some miracle it moves over. It might have, but I, I just would be surprised. Well, it did move over, but not enough. So let's see what we're out now. No, we're still out two inches. Yeah, I mean, so it didn't move. Um, there we go. I really think um, backing it up. So I, I actually think this is kind of the direction to go. Cut a, sta a scab, a 3 16 material, bolt here, a bolt here, and um, cut a hole there. And so it's up 3 16 of an inch. And um, yeah, I think that's, I actually think that's the, Simplest, easiest solution to this problem is uh, scab a piece of 3 16ths in to support it and move it out two inches and call it a day. But I'm going to message Brown Dog and see uh, what he has to say, uh, to see if there's any wisdom from the trenches. <clears throat> um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. What kind of fucking mess did I get myself into?